Can't forget this. Very important. All right, we're going to start with the valve that I found over here yesterday. I showed up to the property yesterday just to install the controller, and then I walked the property to see where I can identify valves without a locator. And that was an obvious one right there. It was the first one I walked up to, and it has the doubler in it. There's actually a doubler and an add zone somewhere else on the property that we're going to be getting rid of while we do our troubleshootings. We're going to start at this box. There is a valve in there. And we're going to see what's going on with all of these connections, see what we can tone out from here to the controller. I also know that there are a few more valves around the back of the building here that we're going to be looking into. None of the valves around this side of the building work. The only two valves that work are out in the front and around the pool. That's two out of 11 or 12 zones on this entire property. We're going to start here. All right, now that I got the doubler out of here and I cleaned up the wires a little bit, yes, I disconnected all of them. They're color-coded, so we're probably going to be putting them right back together, color to color, with two of the wires going to the solenoid that we have here. But before we can connect to the solenoid, I want to make sure that the solenoid is working, and that's what I can use my Station Master for. I have it connected to the two solenoid wires here, and I can flip this switch, and yeah, the solenoid works, and it says it's good here. That's the first thing I want to check, because I don't want to go through all of this and connect it to a faulty solenoid and sit here and think I did something else wrong. The solenoid checks out in this location. I'm actually not going to put the wires back together right here, because there's a couple more valves around the corner. And I want to go see how those are wired, because that might matter to what I'm going to do over here. I'm going to be using my locator eventually to tone out some of these wires, but we'll get to that point in a minute. we got to clean up the mess that was here first, and then we can actually troubleshoot it. Well... I found the add a zone, and at least they took the time to write the zone number on here that they were trying to use with it. And we're going to go ahead and remove the add a zone because I don't believe we need it. But before I get to all that, I'm going to have to clean up all of this junk. Looks like this one, all these are going through. Red was probably supposed to go to this valve. We got some fun stuff going on in here. All right. Well, I'll take it all apart and get rid of what we don't need, like the Adazone. This isn't the first time I've seen this brown or a brown wire being used as a common on this system. I'm starting to believe whoever was trying to fix this before was either using that wire incorrectly or they were trying to use it as a common. But either way, I'm going to cut all of this stuff. Where'd the tool bag go? Grab my dikes. And we'll just cut that, which will give us a little bit more access here. And then we'll cut all these. Add a zone is out. Now we can clean up all the wires here. We're going to take our solenoid wires, test our solenoid at this location. And either this red wire or the green wire was supposed to be going to this valve. We'll find out soon enough. We'll go ahead and connect our station master to the two solenoid wires here and then give her a test. And you look at that, solenoid works great. Let's not, try not to get wet here. And we'll go ahead and clean up all of these wires. Let me get this out of my way a little bit here so you guys can see in there. See where this leads us. I'm not sure which wire is going in which direction, but uh, we'll find out soon enough. I kept getting a signal on a green wire at the controller when I was testing the common. I came over to look at this valve and it's kind of hard to see, but do you see the blue right there? That's glue. And this green wire right here was glued to the white wire that is the common here. And I believe that's how we were getting our cross connection. There's a little bit more glue on there still. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up, put a new connection here, retest my common and see if we can stop getting a signal on a green wire, which is probably this one. Nope, that didn't work, but I found some more fun stuff. I started pulling on the common wire out of this and came right out. There was another one around here, I pulled it out too. And that's because this wire was cut right here. So the common was affected, a bunch of wires got cut in this one spot here. So I'm gonna dig up a little bit right here get to those wires i may have to make a new splice right here so that i can bring them back over to the valve and in addition to that i also found more wires glued together could be also why we're getting mixed readings at the controller we're gonna go ahead and clean this up some more and see if 
that's adding to our, it's definitely adding to our problem. See if we can have some success here and get this valve to fire from the controller. Yeah, that common wire being glued together to the zone wire was definitely part of the problem out there. We went from having three or four zones working when I got there to now having eight out of 12 zones working. There's another wire issue on the property and there's also a stuck open valve that I knew better than to open but lost track of the wire, so I accidentally opened it. Now I gotta go look for it. I'll be back out there next week to continue troubleshooting and hopefully fix the rest of the valves. That property needs it. Until then, have a great weekend, everybody.